Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, Volter Manor, Suicidal. This is another map that we gotta get all the collectibles on, so uh, there is 100% gonna be a collectible on this guy, right? Somewhere? Yeah, same collectible. It's the same little necklace thing, so we will be, uh, again, waiting until we get one rioter, ideally, or like some bloats or something, I guess. Um, if we don't find a rioter, a bloat will do, but I prefer a rioter because they... Uh, you can mostly just ignore their existence, honestly. As long as you're not standing completely still for too long, you'll never really get caught up by a rioter. Um, that's chasing you anyway. Um, so I'd like to, to ideally keep rioter bloats too, but bloats, you know, they they uh they hurt a bit more. Like a rioter, if he does manage to hit you, you know, no big deal, right? No big deal. The bloat manages to hit you, your your screen's all green and gross and it's uh just a mess. It's just a mess. So we'll be leaving a rioter alive. And uh not the bloat. Is uh, is what's basically happening here. So I guess um the early maps, like Outpost, Burning Paris, Volter Manor, they didn't have extra collectibles, you know, they they just had the collectible. And they, uh, they, they moved, they put it throughout the map, and then, uh, later on they started making interesting collectibles and stuff. Okay, we have another rioter back there, so you, sir, get to die. Congratulations. Um. So I guess, I guess that's kind of why they're all the same, but regardless, it's on to collectible hunting territory now. I imagine one of these guys would hold one of them, right? I would have thought. I would have thought. If I were if I were tripwire, I would have totally made one of these guys hold the. Uh, put something way out over there too, maybe. Yeah, as long as you're not standing totally still for too long. Honestly, they don't really uh, cause that much problem. The rioters. They're no big deal. Just gotta find the. Aha. Eight left to find. Eight left to find. Any more in here, you think? It's a pretty detailed area, so possibly, but we will just continue onwards. I thought that was one. I thought that was one. It almost it almost fooled me, dude. Yeah, like, he's so slow, man. Poor dude. Never going to be able to catch up. No matter what he does. Um, and yeah, these uh, these episodes are a little bit shorter as we're doing the achievement hunting. I'm not sure if they're going to be shorter going forward. It's just that right now I'm a little bit strapped for time. So I do want to keep them a little bit on the shorter side, ideally. Uh, Outpost, we found those collectibles really, really quickly, though. So kind of felt bad. Um, Vulture Manor, I'm not, I don't, I don't think we're going to find the collectibles super fast here. Because this is a big, sprawling, complicated, convoluted map and uh, it's gonna be rather tricksy to, to find all of the collectibles here I think so we will uh, we'll put forth an effort and we will succeed make no mistake we will succeed but um, it, it'll, it'll take a little bit of extra time over the uh, the outpost map which which was really just extremely quick, honestly. Boots, He's kind of catching up, something. eh? I guess we have to take like a lot of extra time. You know what? Have one of these. Get stuck, dude. I could really go for some put some put some space between us. You'll be stuck there for for a good little while. And once you're through there, have one of these. Have one of those, dude. Poor dude. The poor guy ain't gonna be able to, to move around anymore. He's stuck. I'm pretty sure he will continue to, to yeah, there there. I knew there I knew one of these statues would be holding one. I don't know which one, but there would definitely be a statue holding a pendant. For sure. I had no question. I had no question, honestly. Yeah, unfortunately, they are going to be shorter episodes. The, going forward, I don't think the the other achievements will be shorter. Just um, 
these first ones because again I'm, I'm a little bit short on time right now so we do have to kind of keep it a little bit shorter but we haven't gone underground yet at all Rom -com weather. Great. Um, which is you know fine honestly we're going to head down in a moment though I just want to check out over here a little bit because we didn't do a, a full sweep of this area it's probably something in the piano and there is okay we're good here now You've already checked out all this stuff. I trust my, uh... I, I, I trust that I would have seen it if it was here. And I didn't see it, so, uh... It's not here. That's my, uh... That's my say on the matter. Ah! You're wearing it. Okay, we'll head, uh, we'll head downstairs now. There's definitely gonna be some... Necklaces chilling out in here. Oh, yeah, one more. Actually, you know what? I know exactly. I don't know. I um. I don't know the location. Okay. I'd be lying if I said. Uh, I'd not but dream yes, about that right tonight. here. I knew going down a little bit deeper, we would definitely find one sitting in a cage somewhere. I was gonna head down here, and I figured we'd definitely see one hanging on like a uh, one of these rafters, maybe, or um, on these corpses, perhaps something like that, uh, or in a bed cage you know some something of this nature there'd definitely be a, uh, a sink yeah I knew I knew we'd find one down in this room for sure right like there there's no way in this giant room here that they wouldn't put a, uh, a necklace so my strategy was just come down here to this giant room and, and pick up a necklace or two you know yeah there's two down here not even hard to find dude probably another one in here somewhere like in one of these perhaps yeah we don't even need to find him at this point. I'm just proving my point that uh, this was a good location to come to. Should I uh, be wanting the um, the necklaces? Oh, another one over there even. Finding tons of necklaces, dude. Tons of them down here. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I stream Monster Hunter a bit. I'm excited about that. I'm honestly, like, I feel really good. Because I talked about it recently, but I see a lot of uh, of my viewers playing Monster Hunter now, and uh, it's just really, really cool to have that kind of an influence on people. A lot of people that have stopped by my stream and uh, you know added me on Steam or whatever. Every now and then, I see them um, playing Monster Hunter, and I'm like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You know that that that's like. Uh, clearly, you know, like, well, they, they pop into streams like, oh, I haven't played that in a while. I'm going to start playing it again. I'm like, it's just, it's cool to see that, uh, that I have that kind of influence on people, honestly. Because, like, you know, obviously I do. If people are watching me, then they're going to be influenced by me, even if it's only, like, two or three people, you know. An influencer isn't necessarily somebody that, um... Like, anybody is an influencer, okay? You influence the people around you. Anybody who's paying attention to you is going to be influenced by you. It's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles, right? Um, but it's, it's still cool to see that, right? That, uh, that I can affect people's lives in, in, in a small way. In a small way, for sure. You know, they're, they're playing Monster Hunter now. You know, they're, I'm pretty sure I was just being ridden by a... Uh, probably there? <laughs> Um, in a small way, yeah. Sneeze. Oh, jeez, the sneeze almost killed me, dude. In a small way, you know. They're, they're playing Monster Hunter now, you know. It's not like... I've changed their lives, and they're so much better now. They're rich, and, like, they have a job, and, like, I, I brought them out of depression. You know, none, none of that kind of stuff. I haven't gotten anybody, uh... Anybody messaging me with, uh, with those sob stories yet, but... You know, one day. One, one day somebody will uh, will leave a comment like, uh, you know, I used to be so depressed and started listening to your videos and your positive outlook on life has just really, it's really affected me and I just, uh, these things don't bother me as much anymore and blah, 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 blah. And I have, you know, you, you saved my life. And I'm going to be like, I, you know, I, I, I really did and it wasn't me. But, um, thank you. <laughs> you know, it was, it, was, it was mostly you deciding to you know change but I'll take uh, I'll, I'll take the 
the happiness from it anyway. But I haven't had uh, I haven't had those kinds of uh, of comments. I haven't had those kinds of things happening to me yet, because you know I have barely any viewers. But I do at least get the odd person popping into the stream and being like, "Hey, I haven't played this game in a while. I'm gonna play it." Or I've had uh, some people pop in when I'm playing RuneScape and be like, "Hey, I started playing RuneScape the other day," and I'm just like, "It's really really cool to see that." Uh, I can have an impact on people's lives, even if it's even if it's just to a, a very very small extent. I mean, I never want to be in the position where I mean, I want to be in the position where I could, but I never want to be, um, you know, making people's decisions for them. I never want to be the person who's like, you should go buy this, you know, and then everybody goes and buys it. Like, let's make sure that we get this website like doing good and like blah blah blah. Like, I never want to be that. I want to have the ability to be that, but I don't want to. I don't want to actually do that, you know. I never want to be that person. What I want to be is the person who could do that and decides that uh, I don't want to, you know. I think it's uh, much cooler that way. Probably something in this hallway too, right? Probably. I mean, I put, I put a little, yeah. I put a little thing in here if I were them. Ooh, we got another one right there. Man, these ones are like. Once I found them, like I found them, dude. Anyway, I um, I don't want to be influencing people's lives in that respect, you know, where you know I'm, I'm deciding, you know, what schools you go to and like whether or not you buy, uh, you know, Huggies diapers or you know competitors or whatever, right? Like I never, never want to be. The person who, who who's going around and, and making these these broad sweeping statements on these things, because I just I just want to be a chick who plays games. But regardless, I do want to be the person who, um, through what I do, other people are are, are buying games and, and trying them out and stuff and having fun. That's 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 what I want to be. I want to be a uh, person who spreads fun. You know. And uh, I think I'm there. I think I'm there. On a small scale, I think I'm there. I think, uh... Ooh. ooh. I think that uh, that I do spread fun and, and enjoyment. And I don't know, it's just I think about it every now and then as I see uh, viewers and whatnot popping in stream and, and, and mentioning that they're playing games now that I play and and talk and, you know, seeing them in on Steam and... It's just, it's really cool to have that kind of an effect on, uh, well, you guys, honestly. Um, it's really, really cool. Really, really, really cool. Feels really good. And, uh, going forward, you know, we're only gonna be having an influence on more and more people. More and more. More and more. And, uh, eventually I run for Canadian Prime Minister, and I have, like, this whole following. No. Um, no, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, mostly, um, but you know, eventually, uh, I have to start worrying about what I say, because if I say something a little bit too negative, maybe people will cancel culture or something, you know what I mean? I want to, I want to be at that point, because it only get cool, it only feel better and better as I, as I influence more and more people, you know, I, I uh, I influence a very small scale, a very very small number of people at the moment. I hold uh, I hold the influence over these people, and uh, it feels good. I don't know. People people talk about influencers and stuff all the time, and how they're bad and stuff. And yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not an influencer because I'm not. I don't, I don't hold a, a significant um, like amount of people to, to influence. You know, I I, I could get. You know, if an advertiser were to, to come talk to me and be like, Hey, we want you to, to like advertise our game. I could get maybe like a person to play it. You know, like maybe, maybe a person. So I'm not, I'm not really an influencer so much. You know, if an advertiser were to come and be like, Hey, we want to sell these earbuds. Yeah, you want to like just do a little spot on them? I could maybe sell one. Maybe. And I wouldn't do that. Um, unless, unless I believed in it. But 
Like, like if, if uh, Samsung comes to me and they're like, hey, we want you to do like a sponsored segment on um, the Samsung Buds, I'd be like, yo, I use those. I have them sitting literally uh, on my desk somewhere. I don't know where they are right now, though. Where are they? Regardless, they're on my desk somewhere. Where are they? I'm concerned now. I'm concerned! Ah, oh, I was like getting distracted by... Where are my buds then? Where are my buds? That's concerning. That's concerning. Regardless, if Samsung messages me and they're like, Hey, we want a sponsor segment on... Uh, Samsung bugs, I'd be like, heck yeah, dude, give me the, like, ten bucks that I'm worth, and, and let's go. <laughs> um, level one survivalist, dude. Um, just because I, I actually use them, but if, uh, you know, Apple were to come and be like, hey, like, can you do a segment on, uh, on our, what do they call them? AirPods. I'd be like, yo, I don't use them, so no. Basically, is the way it comes down to is if I if I use it or if I would personally use it, um, like I'll do I'll do a sponsor segment on it. But if it's not something I personally use, then I wouldn't. But anyway, the moral of the story is that uh, I'm not a large enough influencer to hold an influence. But people get mad about influencers because they're like, you shouldn't hold that much power over it. But like the reality is, is that even I hold some power over like a, a small segment of uh, of the internet. You know, very 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 small. But, like, everybody has, has some degree of influence, and if you're going to try and be an entertainer or, or uh, be a, a, a person on YouTube, you're, you're going to hold some degree of influence. It's just the way that it works. It's, you can't avoid it. You can't get away from it. Anyway, disappointing end. I uh, really got into where my, for some reason, in that moment, the only thing that mattered to me was finding my Samsung Buds. Not sponsored, but hit me up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. We're making some achievements, dude. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.